vocabulary. Okay, let's look at some sentences with the ten words we've presented here. Uh, no tengo mucho tiempo de ocio. Ani, ¿cómo sería? I don't, have, I don't have much leisure time. Leisure, leisure. Leisure time. Or in the States, they say leisure. We say leisure in okay. the UK. Necesitamos encontrar un fabricante de fiar. We need to find a reliable... Reliable. Reliable manu manufacturer. Okay, reliable manufacturer. Manufacturer. Okay, reliable manufacturer. Okay. Los fabricantes de fiar son escasos. Estamos hablando en general con lo cual no empleamos el artículo. Okay. Okay. Real, reliable manufacturers are scarce. 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 Muy bien. Scarce. Es tranquilizador saber que mi firma no está en el contrato. It's reassuring. Reassuring. Reassuring to know my signature isn't on the contract. Good, isn't on the contracts. Mm -hmm. My signature and reassuring there. El hombre tenía un aspecto amenazador. Oh. The man looked threatening. 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 Okay? okay, threatening. El fabricante ha adoptado el mismo procedimiento. That manufacturer has adopted the same pro procedure. Procedure, muy bien. Es tranquilizador, que es reassuring, uh, es tranquilizador saber que él es tan de fiar. It's reassuring to know he's so reliable. Muy bien. Él es tan de fiar que podemos contar con él por cualquier cosa. No veis que en inglés no decimos contar con, sino contar en. Ok. He's so reliable that we can count on him for anything. Ok, it's time for the grand finale. I didn't ring my boss's boss last night. Ask me why. Why didn't you ring your boss's boss last night? Good, it was such a bumpy flight that he was sick. Dilo de la otra manera. The flight was so bumpy that he was sick. Good, ¿cuánto se tarda en memorizar un soneto de Shakespeare? How long does it take to memorize a sonnet by Shakespeare? Good, uh, let me este número en voz alta. 2,055,627. Good, ¿cómo se dice tranquilizador? Reassuring. Le reassuring. Ok, el siguiente número, por favor. 9,000. 6,689,556. Good. ¿Cuánto se tarda en lavar el perro de la mejor amiga de la nieta del jefe? How long does it take to wash the boss's granddaughter's best friend's dog? When was the last time you fought with the ex-prime minister's son-in-law? I've never fought with the ex-prime minister's son-in-law. Formula la pregunta utilizando la palabra Eva y el presente perfecto. Have you ever told a joke? Muy bien. I'm not hungry. Ask me why. Why aren't you hungry? He didn't take part. Ask me why. Why didn't he take part? He didn't do it. Ask me why. Why didn't he do it? She can't cook. Ask me why. Why can't she cook? Muy bien. Es un hombre tan fuerte que puede lamentar un coche. He's such a strong man that he, he can lift a car. Good. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Escaso? Scarce. Scarce. Good. Scarce. Aquel hombre es tan fuerte que puede levantar un coche. That man is so strong that he can lift a car. Good. Tardé tres horas en llegar a Vigo. It took me three hours to get to Vigo. Se suele tardar seis minutos en hervir el agua. It usually takes six minutes to boil water. Cuente conmigo. Count on me. ¿Cómo se pronuncia vecino? Neighbor. Good. ¿Cuánto tiempo se tarda en afeitarse? How long does it take to shave? Let me el segundo número. 13,948. Good. You can't count on him. Ask me why. Why can't you count on him? Good. Tienes que formular las preguntas en la, el presente perfecto utilizando Eva basándote en las siguientes pautas. You go to Rome. Have you ever been to Rome? Muy bien. She sing in public. Has she ever sung in public? Good. They buy a Ferrari. Have they ever bought a Ferrari? When was the last time you phoned my mother? I've never phoned your mother. When was the last time you spent a million euros at Christmas? I've never spent one million euros at Christmas. Good. When was the last time you lent me your car? I've never lent you my car. When was the last time you fell off a 50-story building? I've never fallen off a 50-story building. When was the last time you sold a Picasso? I've never sold a Picasso. He's such a reliable man that everyone trusts him. Dímelo de la otra forma. He's so reliable that everyone trusts him. Good. She's so intelligent that she always gets the best marks. De la otra forma. She's such an intelligent girl that she always gets the best marks. El hijo del vecino de mi compañero de trabajo. My colleague's neighbor's son. La hija del profesor de mi hermano. My brother's teacher's daughter. ¿Has visto alguna vez el perro de la mujer del alcalde? Have you ever seen the mayor's wife's dog? ¿Cómo se dice compañero de trabajo? Colleague. Nunca he visto al perro de la mujer del alcalde. I've never seen the mayor's wife's dog. I've never seen the mayor's wife's dog. Good. Ask me why. Why have you never seen the mayor's wife's dog? ¿Cómo se dice alcalde? Mayor. Lee el siguiente número en voz alta. 2,430,031. Good stuff. See you next week.
Ahora vamos a... Vocabulario. Good, ok. Let's start with a scapegoat, que es... Cabeza de turco. Good. Harmful. Dañino, perjudicial. To stretch. Estirarse. Misunderstanding. Malentendido. To take steps. Tomar medidas. In charge of. Responsable de. To sign. Firmar. And feather. Pluma. Good, ok. El contable de la empresa se convirtió en la, el cabeza de turco del presidente. The company accountant became the president's... Scapegoat. Scapegoat. No escape, que es escapar, sino scapegoat. Sin E, ¿eh? Scapegoat. Y decimos company y no company, ¿ok? The company accountant became the president's scapegoat. Fumar es perjudicial para la salud. Smoking is harmful. Good. Paul se estira todas las mañanas. Paul stretches every morning. Muy bien. I'm pleased you, you said stretches y no stretches, ¿ok? Because the verb to stretch ends in ch. So in the third person... Of the present simple, mm -hmm. third person singular, we add an E, stretches. Okay, como catches, he catches, he stretches. Paul stretches every morning. El error se debió a un malentendido. The mistake was due to a misunderstanding. Okay, the mistake was due to a misunderstanding. Okay, no mm. misunderstanding. a misunderstanding. Again? <laughs> the mistake was due to a misunderstanding. Mis un, mis un, no, mis un, misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Eso es. Necesitamos tomar medidas para reducir la contaminación acústica. Decimos nosotros noise pollution, ¿vale? Ok. We need to take steps to reduce noise pollution. Steps y no step, steps. Okay? ok. Steps. Empezamos con la S. We need to take steps to reduce noise pollution. Paul es responsable de la línea de producción. Paul is the responsible. No, 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 no. no. What's the word we're looking at? Okay, In okay. charge of. Ok. Uh, we don't say. Someone is the responsible. Responsible nunca es un sustantivo en inglés. Ok. Mm -hmm. Decimos que I am responsible for. Es mi responsabilidad, ¿no? Pero I am in charge of. Ok. Soy responsable de. Ok. Paul is in charge of the production line. Production line. Production line. Paul is in charge of the production line. Tienes que firmar con tu nombre en la parte inferior del informe. You need to sign your name at the bottom of the form. At the bottom of the form. Okay, you need to sign your name at the bottom of the form. And the last one, el nuevo teléfono móvil de Jackie es tan ligero como una pluma. Jackie's new mobile phone? Mobile. Okay. No móvil. Mobile. Jackie's new mobile phone? No, mobile. Mobile. Jackie's new mobile phone is light as a feather. No. Uh, Jackie's new mobile phone is... As light as a feather. ¿Ok? Jackie's new mobile phone. Mobile. ¿Cuántas veces tengo de decirlo? Mobile. No se dice móvil. Mo mobile. Es diferente. Mobile. Okay. Mobile phone. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Jackie's new mobile phone is as light as a feather. Grand finale. Ok, this is your favorite moment when we mix everything together and go as fast as we possibly can. Ok, querrán que yo se lo diga a ella. They want me to tell her. Good. Un tercio es lo mismo que 33,3%. One third is the same as 33.3%. Good. Estirarse, con, en gerundio en inglés, estirarse te da más flexibilidad. Stretching gives... Stretching. Stretching gives you more flexibility. Good, me gustas. Sin embargo, tienes que cambiar. I like you, however, you have to change. ¿Por qué quieres que yo lo firme? Why do you want me to sign it? Cuatro quintos es lo mismo que el 80%. Four fifths is the same as 80%. Good, no quiero que me vean. I don't want them to see me. ¿Qué medidas has tomado? What steps have you taken? Good, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Pluma? Feather. Feather, muy bien. No creo que consigas el trabajo. No obstante, la entrevista será una buena experiencia. I don't think you'll get the job. Nevertheless, the interview will be a good experience. Good, un octavo es lo mismo que el 12,5%. One eighth is the same as 12.5%. Excellent. Él quiere que todo el mundo asista. He wants everyone to attend. Todo el mundo quiere que pare de llover. Everybody wants it to stop raining. Deberías comer más. Eres ligero como una pluma. You should eat more. You are as light as a feather. Feather. Oh, feather. Ok. Mis padres vienen para Navidad. Un año sí y otro no. My parents come for Christmas every other year. Tres cuartos es lo mismo que el 75%. Three quarters is the same as 75%. Good, ganarás mucho dinero. Sin embargo, podrías convertirte en cabeza de turco si fracasa. You will make a lot of money. However, you could become the scapegoat if it fails. Comprando el método Bogan, cada semana mejorarás tu inglés. Sin embargo, si solo lo compras una semana sí y otra no, no podrás seguir el ritmo. Buying the Vaughan method every week will improve your English. However, if you only buy it every other week... You won't be able to keep up. Thanks very much then and see you next week.
Vocabulario. Tuvieron que recurrir a la violencia. They had to resort to violence. Cuidado, hay una avispa al lado de tu mano. Careful, there's a wasp by your hand. Tenemos que comprar carbón para la chimenea. We need to buy some coal for the fire. Ojo, we don't say chimney here. A chi the chimney is the external structure you see on the roof, okay? When we're talking about the fireplace in the room, we say fire or fireplace, not chimney. Okay. El punto débil más importante de Leo es su falta de confianza. Leo's biggest weak point is his lack of confidence. Comprar aquella casa fue una inversión acertada. Buying that house was a great investment. Estas cifras nos ayudarán a entender las últimas tendencias. These figures will help us to understand the latest trends. Mi vecino tiene barba. My neighbor has a beard. Decimos a beard y no solo beard, ¿ok? Estas directrices están para ayudarte. These guidelines are there to help you. Gimnasia verbal from to grand finale. Ok, Annie, this is your favorite part when we just mix absolutely everything we've done today. Ok. Um, firstly, I fight with my brother every day. Soy Miguel, ¿eh? Miguel said he fought with his brother every day. Good. El actor de la portada es un buen amigo mío. The actor of the front cover is a good friend of mine. Hay una avispa en mi sopa. There's a wasp in my soup. Good. ¿Cómo se dice inversión? Investment. Investment. La V es importante, ¿eh? Investment. Investment. Hay que seguir las directrices. You have to follow the guidelines. The guidelines. You have to follow the guidelines. ¿Cómo se dice? Un millón trescientos cuatro mil tres. One million three hundred and four thousand and three. How long was Bill Clinton president of the United States? Pues desde el año 1993 hasta el año 2001. Bill Clinton was president of the U.S. from 1993 to 2001. Pensaba que los rebeldes habían dejado de pelear. I thought the rebels had stopped fighting. ¿Has resuelto el problema? Have you sorted out the problem? Yo soy Pablo y digo, I think it's interesting. ¿Qué dije? Pablo said he thought it was interesting. ¿Cómo se dice avispa? Wasp. No dejes de estudiar. Keep studying. Richard Vaughn dice, keep studying. ¿Qué dijo? He said, keep studying. Okay, thanks very much. See you next week. Ya, yeah, but... Vocabulario. Okay, let's get straight down to looking at the examples then. Normalmente hay un periodo de prueba de seis meses. There's usually a six-month tri trial period. Trial, not trial. Trial period. Trial period, okay? There's usually a six-month trial period. El vecino de mi hermano es un hombre adinerado. My brother's neighbor is a wealthy man. My brother's neighbor is a wealthy man. ¿Te lo pasaste bien en la fiesta? Did you have a good time at the party? Good. Did you have a good time at the party? Okay. You, we never say to pass it well. We have a good time, simplemente. The next one. Es obvio que quieren que caigamos en la trampa. They clearly want us to fall into the tramp. Into the tramp or the trap? I'll be careful, okay? okay. A trap is una tramp. trampa. A tramp, we will look at in the next example, a tramp is un vagabundo. Okay. So they clearly want us to fall into the trap. Okay. Trap. La trampa. De la palabra trap es que no hay M. Es vagabundo desde hace 15 años. He's been a tramp for 15 years. Good, he's been a tramp for 15 years. Estuvo muy disgustado cuando su mujer le dejó. He was very upset when his wife left him. When his wife left him. Wife Good, left him. he was him. very upset when his wife left him. Los enchufes españoles no funcionan en Inglaterra. Spanish plugs don't work in England. Good, Spanish plugs don't work in England. Él es tan ingenuo que creerá cualquier cosa que le digas. He's so navy, he... Navy, navy, no. Naive. <laughs> naive. <laughs> okay. He's so naive. He's so naive. He'll believe anything you tell him. Good. Grand finale. Okay, Annie, this is the bit you've really, really been looking forward to all along. This is where we put you to the test and we mix absolutely everything we've looked at. Okie dokie. ¿Antes había mucha gente adinerada en este barrio? Did there used to be a lot of wealthy people in this neighborhood? Good. ¿Cómo se dice dejar de salir? To let out. To let out. Uh, 22 times 14 equals... 308. Not bad. Okay. Is this a trap? Answer in the affirmative. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Have you got a plug? Answer in the negative this time. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Good. ¿Cómo se dice vagabundo? Tramp. Tramp. Bien. Él dejó salir al león de la jaula. He let the lion out of the cage. He let the lion out of the cage. Good. Have you learned a lot of English today? Dica sí. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Have you had a good time? Dica sí. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Have you un periodo de prueba? Was there a trial period? A trial. ¿Cuántas veces no he dicho? A trial period. Vale. ¿Cómo se dice adinerado? Wealthy. Wealthy. 
Very good. Por un lado, él es muy adinerado. Por otro, vive como un vagabundo. On the one hand, he's very wealthy. On the other hand, he lives like a tramp. Good. ¿Te apetece conocer a mi mujer? Do you feel like meeting my wife? People requiere el singular o el plural, el verbo. El plural. El plural. Muy bien. Thank you very much for listening then and see you next week. Vocabulario. ¿Te das cuenta de que no puedes pasar la aduana con eso? Do you realize that you can't go through customs with that? Good. No puedo verte esta noche. Tengo un compromiso. I can see you tonight. I have a commitment. Apenas se puede ver el cielo por el número de rascacielos. You can hardly see the sky because of the number of skyscrapers. Skyscrapers. Skyscraper. Good. No. Muy bien. Pues el sentido metafórico es lo mismo. Skyscraper. To scrape is rascar. ¿eh? O raspar. Okay. Raspar al cielo. Skyscrapers, como rascacielos. Good. El ganador fue elegido al azar. The winner was chosen at random. At random. Good. No intentes nada arriesgado o puede que te lesiones. Don't try anything risky or you might get injured. Injured, not injured. Injured. Injured, you might get injured. A la larga, puede que afecte a las cifras de venta. In the long run, it could affect sales figures. Sales figures, muy bien. Tienes derecho a exigir una respuesta. You have the right to demand an answer. You have the right to demand an answer. Good. Adivina lo que te ha comprado por tu cumpleaños. Guess what I bought for your birthday. Guess what I've bought for your birthday. Good. Grand finale, where we mix absolutely everything we've seen today. And well, as usual, we'll go as fast as we possibly can. Let's go. Ella se dormirá si le cantamos. She'll go to sleep if we sing to her. Venderéis más si organizáis una campaña en la tele. Will you sell more if you organize... If you organize... If you organize a campaign on TV... Will you sell more if you organize a campaign on TV? ¿Estuvo él de acuerdo con los cambios? Did he agree with the changes? Did he agree to the changes? Mejor. Aunque vendamos mil copias, vamos a perder dinero de todas formas. Even if we sell a thousand copies, we'll still make a loss. ¿Cómo se dice al azar? At random. Good. Aunque odio a los niños, no me importa si les veo en la calle. Even though I hate kids, I don't mind if I see them on the street. <laughs> vale. Aunque él nos venda su coche, seguimos irá teniendo problemas para pagar su hipoteca de todos modos. Even if he sells his car, he'll still have problem paying his mortgage. Okay, even if he sells his car, he'll still have problems paying his mortgage. ¿Por qué no haces las paces con él esta noche? Why don't you make it up with him tonight? Muy bien. ¿Te gustaría vivir en un rascacielos? Would you like to live in a skyscraper? A skyscraper. Would you like <laughs> to live in a skyscraper? Bien. Tengo un compromiso la próxima semana. I have a commitment next week. I have a commitment next week. I couldn't breathe due to the last amount of people there. Ahora, pues, debido a que había mucha gente. I couldn't breathe due to the fact that there were many people there. Muy bien. ¿Cómo se dice adivinar? To guess. To guess. Bien. Mi abrigo apesta a humo desde la fiesta de la semana pasada. My coat has stunk of smoke ever since the party last week. Good. I owe the bank 32,420 pounds. ¿Cuánto debo al banco? 32,420 libras. Fenomenal. Pues muchísimas gracias. Annie, thank you very much and I'll see you again next week. Don't forget Vocabulario. Let's look at a few more new words then, starting with easily, which means... Facilmente. Facilmente. Platform. And then... Carefully. Con cuidado. Lamb. Cordero. Con una B muda, por cierto. Lamb. Ahead. Por delante. Gift. Regalo. Noisy. Ruidoso. Que no deberías confundir con nosy. ¿Qué significa? Fisgón. Entrometido. Muy, muy bien. Podía hacerlo fácilmente. I was able to do it easily. El tren sale del andén número 2. The train leaves from platform 2. Ponlo en la caja con cuidado. Put it into the box carefully. El cordero de aquel restaurante es delicioso. The lamb in that restaurant is delicious. Cambiamos. Hay mucho tráfico por delante. There is a lot of traffic ahead. Good. Mi hijo recibió muchos regalos por su cumpleaños. My son received a lot of gifts on his birthday. Good. No podía vivir en el centro de la ciudad. Es demasiado ruidoso. I couldn't live in the center of the city. It's too noisy. Mis vecinos son muy entrometidos. My neighbors are very nosy. My neighbors are very nosy. Okay, not very. Very nosy. Very. Con la v. 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 My very. neighbors are very nosy. A very, con dos R's, es una valla. Una a job. Grand finale. This is what you've really been looking forward to, Annie. This is where we mix absolutely everything. Everything we've looked at today. And of course, as usual, we'll do it in as fast a way as we possibly can, okay? Okay. Are you up for it? 
Yes, I'm okay. ready. La reunión durará dos horas. The meeting will last two hours. Good. ¿Cuántos años tenías cuando aprendiste a conducir? How old were you when you learned how to drive? When you learned how to drive. Muy bien. La reina quitó su sombrero con cuidado. The queen took off her hat carefully. Good. Le cuesta a ella entender a las clases bajas. Nosotros decimos lower classes, no low classes. Eh? Okay. The lower classes. She finds it difficult to understand the lower classes. Good. To understand, not understand. 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 Again. She finds it difficult to understand the lower classes. Mucho mejor. Su sirvienta era muy entrometida. Her servant was very no nosy. Very nosy. No nosy, no ruidoso. Nosy. nosy. Como la nariz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, meter la nariz donde no te llaman. Nosy. Bien. Write down the following number. 616,660. What do you have? 660,660. Muy bien. ¿Cómo se dice regalo? Give. O si no... Present. Good. Cervantes escribió Don Quijote. Cervantes wrote Don Quijote. Good. Iba a pedir el codero, pero no lo hice. I was going to order the lamb, but I didn't. Mi hijo aprendió a hablar inglés fácilmente. My son learned how to speak English easily. Easily. Good. ¿Cómo se dice ruidoso? Noisy. Noisy. Good. ¿Y entrometido? Noisy. ¿Y ruidoso? Noisy. Good. Con el siguiente número, 60.616. ¿Cómo se dice? 60.616. Muy bien. ¿Cuánto tiempo dura esta clase de inglés? How long this English class last? How long does this English class last? Again. How long does this English class last? Again. How long does this English class last? Again. How long does this English class last? Una eternidad. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice por delante? Ahead. Ahead. Well, we've got lots and lots and lots of work ahead of us. Uh, please, please, please study between now and next week. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye. Vocabulario. Okay, we're going to look at eight new words now, one of which is to pretend, which means... Fingir. Fingir y no pretender. To, uh, pretender, in English, we would say to claim. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, right. fingir is to pretend. Tiny. Muy pequeño. Diminuto. Muy bien. Tiny. A tiny little dog, etc., etc. To miss... Echar de menos. Good. To scratch. Rascar, arañar. A scar. Cicatriz. Selfish. Egoísta. Shellfish. Mariscos. And miracle. Milagro. Good. Let's go through some examples then. Solo fingía no oírte. I was only pretending not to hear you. Good. El cachorro que me regalaron era muy pequeño. The puppy I was given was really tiny. Tiny. Muy bien. Se pronuncia tiny, not teeny. Mm -hmm. Se escribe teeny, pero mucha gente lo dice así. Muchos españoles, <risa> pero es incorrecto. Deberíamos decir tiny, ¿ok? Él echa mucho de menos a sus amigos. He really misses his friends. Good. Mi perro se rasca sin parar cuando tiene pulgas. My dog scratches himself non-stop when he has fleas. Good. To do something non-stop is hacer algo sin parar. Mm -hmm. Non-stop. Good. Cada vez que llueve, ella se rasca la cicatriz. Every time it rains, she scratches her scar. She scratches her scar. Muy bien. Nunca compartes nada. Eres muy egoísta. You never share anything. You are very selfish. You're very selfish. Muy bien. Cambiamos. Me encanta comer mariscos acompañados de vino blanco. I love eating shellfish washed down with some white wine. Be careful with the difference between shellfish, mariscos, and selfish, Egoísta, ¿ok? Bien, el siguiente. Es un milagro que hayas aprobado todos tus exámenes. It's a miracle you've passed all your exams. Bank in the middle of the meeting. Grand finale. Annie, you must be really excited right now because you know what's coming. <laughs> Grand It's... finale. Exactly. This is when I put you to the test on everything we've looked at today. And we're going to go really, really fast, ¿ok? All right. Let's go then. Los Rolling Stones han vendido millones de discos. The Rolling Stones have sold millions of records. Good. ¿Cómo se dice echar de menos? To miss. To miss. Good. El equipo cuyo delantero fue a jugar a Inglaterra fichó a un jugador brasileño. To fichar is to sign. The team whose forward went to play in England sang a Brazilian player. Good. Hay cientos de gangas en nuestras rebajas de invierno. Gangas son bargains, eh? Bargains. There are hundreds of virgins in our winter sale. Hundreds of bargains. Bargains. L bargains, mejor. ¿Lo habrías hecho si hubieras sabido que estaba prohibido? Would you have done it if you had known it was forbidden? Good. ¿Cómo se dice arañar? 
Do a scratch. A scratch or to scratch. 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 To scratch. Bien. Si, si te pica, rascate. If it itches, scratch it. If it itches, scratch it. Muy bien. Si él hubiera hecho un esfuerzo, habría conseguido el trabajo. If he had made an effort, he would have got the job. Good. Why do we have less fun than we used to? Pues quiero que hagas la misma pregunta, pero empleando as much as. Te lo repito, si quieres. Why do we have less fun than we used to? Why don't we have as much fun as we used to? Good. El mismo ejercicio ahora. She wears less jewelry than my aunt. She doesn't wear as much jewelry as my aunt. Good. ¿Cómo se dice? Rascar. To scratch. To scratch. Igual que arañar. To scratch. Muy bien. El político se quedó en blanco durante el discurso. The politician went blank during the speech. Good. ¿Cuál es la mejor manera de quitarme de encima este resfriado? What's the best way to shake off this cold? To shake off this cold. Annie, fantastic. Well done. Bye. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you very much for listening and see you all again next week. Don't forget to study. And when I say study, I mean every single day for at least 20 minutes. Okay? Words then, Annie. Starting with almond. Almendra. Good. To blackmail. Chantajear. Chantajear. También existe como sustantivo. Blackmail is chantaje. To encourage. Animar. Animar. Y nunca se dice to encourage. Mm -hmm. To encourage. Good. Throat. Garganta. Sensitive. Sensible. Good. A con. Un timo. Un timo. Good. Faithful. Fiel. And coward. Cobarde. Cobarde. Muy bien. Let's have a look at some examples then. Me encanta comer cualquier cosa que contenga almendras. I love to eat anything that contains almonds. Almonds. We don't really say almonds. Almonds. Como si fuese A-R. Almonds. A-R. Como si fuese A-R. Almonds. 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 Okay. Almonds. Again? I love to eat anything that contains almonds. Good. ¿Me estás chantajeando? Are you blackmailing me? Are you blackmailing me? Good. Todo el apoyo que he recibido me anima mucho a seguir adelante. To carry on. All the support I've received really encouraged me to carry on. Encourages me. 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 Eso es. Good. Me duele la garganta desde hace varios días. We don't say my throat hurts. We say I have a sore throat. Okay? All right. En este caso con presente perfecto. ¿Vale? I have a sore... I've had. I've had a sore throat for a few days. I've had a sore throat for a few days. Cambiamos. Pareces muy sensible en este momento. You seem very sensitive at the moment. Be careful with sensitive and sensible. Sensible means sensato mm -hmm. in English. Okay, sensitive, sensible. The next one. Eh? La excursión a las pirámides fue un timo total. The trip to the pyramids was a complete con. Siempre he sido fiel a mis principios. I've always been faithful to my principles. No quieres decírselo porque eres un cobarde. You don't want to tell her because you're a coward. Grand finale. Okay, Annie, we're going to go really, 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 really fast through absolutely everything we've looked at today. Are you ready for the challenge? I'm ready. Okie dokie. Let's get going then. Ya es hora de que nos deshagamos de esas viejas cortinas. It's about time we got rid of those old curtains. Curtains, good. ¿Cómo se dice animar? To encourage. Good. Hasta mi hermano puede cocinar una tortilla. Even my brother can cook an omelette. Even my brother... Una pequeña pausa. <laughs> can cook an omelette. Good. Necesito deshacerme de algunos kilos. Yo diría weight en vez de kilos or kilos. All right. I need to get off some weight. I need to get rid of some weight. Again? I need to get rid of some weight. Good. Más rápido. ¿Cómo se dice sensible? Sensitive. Good. ¡Corramos! Let's run. Let's run. Deberías deshacerte de tu novio. No te trata bien. You should get rid of your boyfriend. He doesn't treat you well. Excellent. There aren't as many flats in Cuenca as in Bilbao. Now try to say the same thing using the word fewer. There are fewer flats in Cuenca than in Bilbao. Good. ¿Cómo se dice fiel? Faithful. Mi tía abuela, sería mi great aunt, mi tía abuela nació en 1906. My great aunt was born in 1906. In 1906. Fenomenal. There are fewer mosquitoes in Madrid than in Cádiz. Di lo mismo ahora utilizando as many as. There aren't as many mosquitoes in Madrid as in Cádiz. Good. Mi padrino nació en 1962. My godfather was born in 1962. My godfather was born in 1962. Muy bien. No le apoyemos. 
Let's not support him. Let's not support him. ¿Cómo se dice hacer una pregunta? To ask a question. ¿Y cómo no se dice hacer una pregunta? To make a question. <laughs> Siempre decimos to ask a question. Bien, estudiemos inglés. Let's study English. All right, good. Thank you very much again. And, of course, we'll see you again next week. Don't forget to study for at least 20 minutes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Vocabulario. Okay, let's look at eight more exciting words. One of which is outgoing, which means extrovertido. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a challenge. Un reto. Good. A disease. Enfermedad. A flood. Inundación. Okay, refreshing. Refrescante. Mainly. Principalmente. The stock market. La bolsa del mercado. Good. And a masterpiece. Una obra maestra. Good. Ella es mucho más extrovertida de lo que era antes. She's much more outgoing than she used to be. Very good. Aprender inglés es un verdadero reto. Learning English is a real challenge. Very good. Él padece una terrible enfermedad. He suffers from a terrible disease. Good. Ha habido unas inundaciones devastadores en el centro de Europa últimamente. There have been some devastating floods. Devastating, we say. Okay, devastating. Devastating floods recently in central yeah, recently, Europe. Recently, not recently. Re recently. Recently, okay. There have been some devastating floods recently in Central Europe. Es muy refrescante hablar con alguien que piensa. It's really refreshing to speak to someone who thinks about things. Cambiamos. Principalmente me preocupan las repercusiones sociales. I'm mainly concerned about the social repercussions. Lo último sobre la bolsa es una noticia fantástica. The latest from the stock market is tremendous news. ¿Cuál crees que es la obra maestra de Picasso? What do you think Picasso's greatest masterpiece is? Grand finale. Now, I know you don't really want to do this today, Annie, but I'm going to insist. So let's review absolutely everything we've looked at today. Okay. Good. I'm glad I've convinced you. Me, me he quedado sin pasta. I've run out of pasta. I've run out of pasta. Good. Pero pasta en el sentido de espagueti. Mm -hmm. No de dinero. En el 31 antes de Cristo, Octavio derrotó a Antonio y a Cleopatra. In 31 BC, Octavian defeated Antony and Cleopatra. Good. ¿Cómo se dice extrovertido? Outgoing. Vamos más rápido. Es caro, pero no es para tanto. It's expensive, but it's not that expensive. It's expensive, but it's not that expensive. Muy bien. ¿Dónde te quedaste sin gasolina? Where did you Run out of petrol. ¿Cómo se dice refrescante? Refreshing. Good, lo siento. No tengo cigarrillos. Me quedé sin ellos anoche. I'm sorry, I don't have any cigarettes left. I ran out last night. Very good. Debo acordarme de llamar a Luis. I must remember to phone Luis. El emperador Constantino murió en el 337 después de Cristo. The emperor Constantine. The emperor. The emperor Constantine died in 337 AD. Very good. ¿Cómo se dice enfermedad? Disease. Disease. Antes fumaba 20 cigarros al día. I used to smoke 20 cigarettes a day. Good. No recuerdo haberte conocido antes. I don't remember meeting you before. Ella me dijo que no comprara ese coche. She told me not to buy that car. Te estoy diciendo que no dejes pasar ni un solo día sin estudiar inglés. I'm telling you not to let one day go by without studying English. Te estoy diciendo que no dejes pasar ni un solo día sin estudiar inglés. I'm telling you not to let one day go by without studying English. Te estoy diciendo que no dejes pasar ni un solo día sin estudiar inglés. I'm telling you not to let one day go by without studying English. Está claro. Está claro. Clarísimo, ¿no? <laughs> Thank you ever so much for listening and see you all again next week. Don't forget to study at least 20 minutes a day. Do it before you switch on your computer at work. Just 20 minutes. 20 minutes is nothing in your life. It's feasible. You can do it, okay? Okay. All right then. Bye-bye. Bye. All words, starting with safe and sound, which means, Annie? Sano y salvo. Good. Hectic, my favorite adjective. Ajetreado. Foundations. Cimientos. Failure. Fracaso. Encouraging, ¿qué significa? Alentador. Valuable. Valioso. Politics. Política. Good, we don't say politics, sino politics. Terrific. Fabuloso. Ajá, y no significa terrorífico, uh -huh. ¿vale? Tiene una aceptación muy positiva en inglés. Ok. De acuerdo. Ok, let's go through some examples. Lo importante es que llego sano y salvo. The important thing is that he arrived safe and sound. Good, estoy teniendo una mañana muy ajetreada. I'm having a really hectic morning. I'm having a really hectic morning. Good. Creo que hay un problema 
con los cimientos. I think there is a problem with the foundations. The foundations, no foundations. 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 Eso es, <risa> vale. La campaña fue un fracaso total. The campaign the was... Campaign. The campaign was a complete failure. ¿Y se pronuncia? Fe Failia. Failia. Yes. <risa> los últimos resultados son alentadores. The latest results are encouraging. Are encouraging. Again. Are encouraging. 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 Cambiamos. ¿Cuál es el cuadro más valioso del Museo del Prado? What's the most valuable painting in the Prado Museum? Mi tío está muy interesado en la política. My uncle is very interested in politics. Esa es una noticia fabulosa. That's terrific news. Grand finale. Go. Jeremy se peleó con Patricia hace dos semanas. Jeremy fell out with Patricia two weeks ago. Good. Cuando era joven estaba constantemente peleando con mi hermano. When I was young, I was constantly 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 falling out with my brother. Good. Se pelearon hace una semana. They fell out a week ago. Alguien acaba de pisarme el pie. Someone's just trodden on my foot. Good. Tread, trod, trodden. Muy bien. ¿Cómo se dice fracaso? Failure. Failure. Good. Cuesta acostumbrarse a trabajar una jornada de 12 horas. Working a 12-hour day takes some getting used to. ¿Qué es lo más valioso que tienes? What's the most valuable thing you have? Valuable. 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 Ok. No estamos acostumbrados a perder. We're not used to losing. ¿Cómo se dice sano y salvo? Safe and... Sound. Safe and sound. <laughs> Antes yo no estaba acostumbrado a hablar en español. I didn't used to be... <laughs> Más tricky, ¿no? <laughs> I didn't used to be used to speaking in Spanish. Can okay. you repeat it? I didn't used to be used to speaking in Spanish. Ok, the World Cup was held in Germany in el 2006. ¿Cómo diríamos el 2006? 2006. Good, in 2006. La película se suspenderá a no ser que aumenten el presupuesto. The film will be called off Unless they increase the budget. The budget, good. Mi exnovia se ponía muy celosa cuando hablaba con otras mujeres. My ex-girlfriend used to get very jealous when I talked to other women. Woman or women? Women. Again? Women. One woman, two? Women. One? Woman, two women. Ok, ¿cómo se dice la política? Politics. ¿Y cómo se pronuncia? Politics. 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 Very good, <laughs> Annie. Excellent. Good stuff. Thank you very much for listening then again. And don't forget to study at least 20 minutes a day. Ok. Bye-bye.